Hi, I'm Kevin. This is my Crown Vic. I've had it six years. Brought it from Folkestone. Um, done major things to it. Put a computer in it. Uh, added some more lights. Shotgun. And she just runs on LPG. As I say, it's my little pride and joy. My name's Steve Onslow, this is my truck. It's a 1969 Chevy Stepside C10. Uh, it's got a 2.8 Iveco uh, turbo engine in it. We're just about to swap it for a 5.9 um, V8 uh, small block. Um, did all the paint job myself, uh, had it six years. Uh, it's been a good truck, I drive it every day to work and yeah, love it. This is my little boy Alfie, he loves going in it as well. So this is my 1995 Kenworth W900. It's got a Series 60 Detroit 14 litre engine. I bought it in 2019. Um, it came over here from Canada, it's actually Canadian, in 2005. Um, the guy who owned it, he registered it, but never properly put it on the road. Um, I, I bought it, sort of rescued it from its grave. I changed the bonnet on it and put the front axle and air suspension so you can actually drop it and it drops down about four inches. Um, I've done some engine work on it, uh, some suspension work on it. Obviously, like I say, changed the bonnet, put the exhaust on it, um, moved, moved some fuel tanks around and stuff. And we put the sun visor on it, which is a what they call a Batman style sun visor. We recently added the roof lights and the roof horns, um, which are, that's, they're all American. You've got an American uh, Bonnet Angel. It's a 22 inch Valley Chrome front bumper, um, which is American. And she's uh, more pride and joy. I'm Andy Saunders, and Deja, the new project, was uh, basically outside launched here today at the uh, Custom in American show. Deja is a, my version of what a Delahaye would have looked like um, if I'd have been around in the 30s, panel beaten American aluminium. Um, I start with a Riley, that's the original car. Um, that was a 1950 Riley RM 2.5. Um, there's a little bit of panels from that car on here, but pretty much most of it um, is still that I've made from other vehicles. Um, just, just in the... <laughs> we picked the busiest part of the car park now. <laughs> she's, uh, she's fully equipped in the way of an Art Deco luxury car, even down to the, um, the Art Deco cocktail cabinet in the back with the glasses. She's got a Lalique style horn push, uh, a South Chick style steering wheel. It purely auto jumbled about four years ago in the Bonhams auction. In their auto jumble auction rather than the car bit, I was lucky enough to pick that dashboard up. Now that dashboard 
was a left hand drive one of making that right hand drive was an impossibility because it's so asymmetric in in the uh, in the way it's canted that when i turned it upside down to make it right hand drive nothing fitted at all um but that is a, a genuine side chick dashboard probably one of only 10 or 12 made which gives it a nice period finish uh windscreen's mini original mini it looks split but it's actually a one-piece screen with a, a a dummy trim down it and then fully fender skirted um i i had these made um they're delahaye badges but the spear that goes through them um i've just got my surname on it delahaye by saunders uh it's, it's just a 30s custom and um and i'm very pleased with it very pleased with it Hi there, I'm Maxime Xavier and this is my Buick 1977 Regal. Um, it's painted in candy on metal flake and it took nine months to paint. When I bought the car, that was it there. Andy, my partner, Andy Saunders, flattened it out and took all the paintwork off. I had Mike Wareham spray the whole car silver, so it's got silver metal flake all over. And where you see bits like that where it's been taped, that was, has gone on, I've taken, they stay there for the whole duration, so it's masked off. At the end of the whole process, when they peel off, you're going back to the undercoat, which is silver metal flake. So this paint is transparent paint, it's see-through paint. So whatever you paint, you can't go over it twice. You've got one go at this and one go only. If you do a mural in uh, ordinary acrylic paint and it goes wrong, you can rub it out and you can paint over it. But this, you can't. So it's one go at the whole thing. Uh, one of my little mistakes is round here. I'll just show you this. There's a little bit on the side here. Sorry, <laughs> I'm pushing in, sorry. This is where a piece of paper flipped up while it was wet and went splat. Uh, and when we peeled it off, obviously all the work came off. So I had to remove the whole side and repaint it and even then there were still marks there so I had to paint the little bird and the crucifix on to hide it so it's like a happy mistake because actually I love it and I wouldn't have done it if the mistake hadn't happened the cross appears on the Sundancer there and it's also hanging up in the middle of the car as one of the rosaries and things so the car didn't have hydraulics so we popped it on hydraulics so it will dance around um, scares the life out of me because it's so harsh but it can be altered so we do it a little bit slower um this i don't know if you're familiar with all this uh airbrushing but this is like uh netting so you place ordinary curtain netting on top of the silver you then spray it spray it, spray it a light color put your netting on and then spray it dark brown so when you lift it off you get the pattern of the curtain it's also got a uh, gold leaf on here this is all gold leaf, all these stripes here, and they're engine turned. So because gold leaf is a soft metal, you can just go along and turn it and you get that like circle looking effect. So that's all gold leaf. This is a kind of gold leaf, this green here that looks like uh, lizard skin and there. It works the same as gold leaf, but it's not quite gold, but it's got the same quantities, qualities of it. It's very light and fluffy. Um, these effects here, these are done with a chemical and the chemical has to be a certain temperature and it crystallizes. So when it crystallizes, you then spray it at different colors and then you rub it down. You've got to be very careful with it. If you rub it down too much, you rub all the crystal off and you've got no effect there. If the temperature is different, it cracks, it goes into a different sort of a different pattern. But that took nine months to paint, a whole year from when I bought the car. Andy did their little holes in it and fixed it all up and then I painted it. I did this, started with the bonnet, which was this beginning picture here, which is a pencil sketch of the sun dancer. I call it sun dancer because it is, it glitters and it dances. So that's how it got its name, sun dancer. So it started off with a drawing that I transferred onto the bonnet and then you mask off and then you paint it with a little airbrush. The whole thing, the whole car has been painted with a little airbrush like that. I'm no good at using a big, big uh, spray gun because I'm so used to the fineness of an airbrush even when I come to do the skirts underneath the, the actual gun will go poof like that and I can't handle it so it's all done with a little airbrush 
So, nine months of uh, love, basically. Um, it's won a few awards already, which is really great. And it's been on the front cover of American Classic, which is great fun as well. So it's going around the world, which is lovely. And I've had lots of good feedback from it. Right, the door handles. Now, lots of people love these. They're actually, I found them on eBay. And they're ashtrays. So if you were to turn it that way up, you'd place the cigarette between the cheeks of the bottom and the ash would fall in the hat. And that was on eBay and I was determined to get them. And there's a pair of them. As soon as I saw them, I thought, I know where they're going on the car. Um, so I put a hundred pound bid on to make sure I got it. And I got them for 12 pounds 50. <laughs> so there's a bargain. How about that? Right, when it came to painting the, the roof, um, bear in mind this car was a lot higher before it was put on hydraulics. I had a thing I could stand on a trestle, but I still actually couldn't reach the center. So um, Andy, who's got long arms, I asked him, I, I leant over and did a, a circle from the side, which I thought might be right. And I wanted him to climb up and just put a center line through so it gave me something to work from. He started climbing up here and I go, didn't put your, don't put your weight on the windscreen because you go through it. And he goes, no, I've been doing this for years and years and years. He put his knee on there and it went boing because it's actually soft metal and it's a double skin. So he had to get that fixed, so they had to go in through a little hole here and hammer it out from the inside. So the only place I could lean on here is on the structure where the structure is actually three points. So I had to paint all of that leaning on this. And I can't reach the middle. <laughs> so um, I never saw the middle finish until I was up on his balcony and we drove the car underneath and I could see it. And it actually is a perfect circle. So yeah, there you go. That was lucky. <laughs> and it's not so gold leaf as well on there. So that's that. Can I please ask you to put your hands together for our uh, four finalists? Put your hands together for me. And we're starting with the classic American car of the year. This is the Beulah Heat. It's presented by uh, Ben from Classic American and their sponsors, Kingstone uh, Shipping. Where are you, Ben? Come on down, come on down, Ben. Put your hands together, please, for Ben for me. Oh. Hello, Ben. You don't look like Ben. Nice to, nice to meet you there, ben. Um, ben. Ben's thrown you under the bus here, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. So what, what's your name? Holly. Holly. Nice to meet you, Holly. Have you had a nice day? Yes, thank you. It's, it's been, been good. Well, it's a little bit damp now, but we don't call this rain. We call it liquid sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, we've got four vehicles here, and the one that is going through, because they go through to, to a final now, I believe. I'm looking over at you, Ben. They go through to the, and there's a final at the NEC later this year? In November. In November. See, how many, how many cars go there? Uh, uh, six cars. Six. So one of these here today has won a place at the final. And Holly here, and you are from uh, Kingstown Shipping. Uh, you are presenting the award to the 1955 Cadillac Eldorado 493 XW, uh, XVW, which is this one over here, I do believe. Is this, is this yours? Come on over, come on over. Put your hands together for your winners of the Classic American Car of the Year, Beulah Heat. Watch the floor, it's very slippery. Lovely to meet you, lovely to meet you. How are you doing? Very well, thank Stunned. You. <laughs> Stunned? What, you're not expecting this now? No, we weren't. It's fabulous. No? Well, you're, you're here now. Uh, this, is your, this is your 15 minutes of fame because you've got all these people here looking at you. Your, your car's absolutely fabulous. I mean, don't, don't you think that that just looks absolutely... There's always one showing off. He's just trying to steal your limelight. Um, what size engines in yours? Uh, 331 cubic inches. Five... And, and, and what's that in British? 5.4 litres. 5.4 litres, and it's a 1955. Yes. It's absolutely glorious. How long you had it? Uh, 18 months. 18 months? Did you buy it like that? Pretty much. Excellent. Yeah, was it always a dream? <laughs> yeah, I had a poster of one on my wall when I was a kid. And now you've actually got one in the garage. What's it feel like? Uh, I just go down and look at it sometimes, I get a beer, and I just wander downstairs after dinner and just sit, pull up a chair, put the music on and just look at my car. Fantastic. Now, now we know what was on your bedroom wall when you were a teenager. What was on yours? Who do you think? 
Donny Osmond. Oh, of course, of course. Well, <laughs> maybe he can make an appearance for you. But ladies and gentlemen, can you please put your hands together for the winners of the Classic American Car of the Year, the Beulah Heat, and introduce you to Holly from Kingstown Shipping. She will present you with your award. Thank Many you. congratulations Thank to you. Thank you. Look at this. So these guys now, they're one of, Ben, I'm checking this here. It's one of six. Well, did you say one of eight? One of six. One of six. So this vehicle will be off to the NEC Classic Car Show in November. So if you go there, the uh, Classic American stand, they always have quite a big stand. That will be one of the six vehicles there. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together again for me for our winners of the Classic American Car of the Year, the Bewley Heat. Well done to both of you. He can go home now and look at his trophy as well. That's forever going to be with the car. It will be on the dashboard. Uh, so coming up next, we have the Solent Renegade choice. And this is presented by uh, Dan and Malcolm from Solent Renegades. Where are you guys? Come on, come on, come over and join me. Come on, put your hands together for me for Dan and Malcolm. How are we going, sir? We well? We good? Yeah, we're good, mate. Yeah. We're good. How about you? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, let me hold on. What have you done to your finger? A dog bit it yesterday. A dog bit it? Well, I'll tell you what, we got, we're, we're a matching pair. Look. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> a dog didn't bite mine. I was, I was chopping some basil and then I was chopping my finger. It was quite painful. Um, but you have chosen, uh, uh, both of you chosen yeah. this, yeah? yeah? We all, the three of us was doing it, actually, another guy with us, and we all stopped. Oh, Challenger. Right, well, there you are. You've let us out the bag. It is the 1970 Dog Ch Challenger, Alan Fee. Where are you, Alan? Come on over. Come on out. Yes, that's you. Come on. Come on down. Come on down. Just watch this floor. It, it's incredibly slippy. I, I don't want you slipping out. I will edit. If you do slip over, I will edit it out, apart from the live bit. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Uh, how do you feel to be walking away with the trophy today? Um, surprised, mate. I'm, really? Yeah, honestly, yeah. Yeah. Well, you heard what uh, Dan and Malcolm said it's here. That, they said they both stopped dead and looked at it. Yeah. Well, I had the bonnet open, see. <laughs> oh, OK, OK. Now, we all love to know what size that. What size no, have we got? No, it's a small block. Is it? Three, what, three, one, eight. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Well, glorious looking thing. That Have you had it long? About five years, six years. Done much work? Everything. Fantastic. That's what we like to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for your winner of the Solent Renegade's choice, Alan Fee with his 1970 Dodge Challenger. Alan, over to you, sir. Congratulations to you. Now, I know it's getting a little bit damper out there, so we'll try and speed things along so you don't get too wet. Coming up next, oh, this is appropriate, isn't it? Prizes by Autoglin. Big thank you to that. That's, that what, what was that? A wash and protect kit. There you go. Wash and protect. Liquid sunshine coming down on you. Well, you can wash whatever you like. I suggest your car, but, you know, it's up to you where you use that. Anyway, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Andy Saunders Award. Andy Saunders, where are you? Come on over, sir. Put your hands together for Andy Saunders, our show ambassador. Ever so popular as ever, sir. A pleasure to see you. We we were both here, crack of dawn. You were working away, yeah, getting the cars coffee. ready, and I was here Having putting up coffee. some banners, putting a coffee on, you know, <laughs> feet up. Um, so you have chosen a car today. The yeah, standard yeah. has been outstanding this year. It's fabulous, isn't it? A lot bigger, I think, and a lot better than last year. Um, I'm pleased I had to choose custom because there was far. If it had been American, I. I wouldn't have wanted that job. There's too many. There's a lot of dodging bullets here. There's a lot of dodging bullets, isn't there? <laughs> but you have chosen, this is the uh, our show ambassador, you have chosen the, I believe, is it a 1935? Is it really? Yeah, I'm, the I'm, reason, I'm, the I'm reason stunned. Is, this car is so important in the, the way of custom because everything up till 34 became hot rods. Everything that was Salt Lake Racers, 30, 30, 30, 1, 2, 3, um, 4, they all became hot rods. 35, Ford brought this out, and it was the first fat, they called it the fat-bodied Ford, um, and it was the very first car that could be customised rather than hot-rodded. Um, and this is, as far as I'm aware, the only example in England. Fantastic. Well, there you are, the 1930 Ford, uh, 35 Ford Cabriolet. Where are you, sir? Terry Smith. Terry, where are you? Come on, Terry, come on down. It's your moment. Like I say, be careful on the floor. It's really slippery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> congratulations you. to you, sir. How do you feel? Uh, amazed. Yeah? Yeah, incredible. You're not expecting this, no? No. <laughs> well, Andy Saunders, who, by the way, is a car-making god. Have you seen what he's turned up with today? Yeah, I know. I, I follow him. 
so do I, so do I, whereas I'm like, n bow down to the god of car building, yeah. has chosen your car, <laughs> <laughs> has chosen your car, has his choice. So well done to you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our winner, Terry Smith, with the Andy Saunders Award. And you've got your prizes there. Now you've got a very glamorous trophy and also a prize from Autoglim. Big thank you to those guys for sponsoring all of our awards. We have two awards left. So we've got your vote, ladies and gents, the best in show. And we've also got a dad prize draw. This is the first time we've done a dad prize draw here. Well done to you, sir. Congratulations. Congratulations. Put your hands together once again for me, for Terry Smith and our Andy Saunders award. So this is the first time we've done this here. It is, of course, Father's Day today. Um, and the dad prize draw, before we come on to the people's best in show, but our dad prize draw, there was... 116 nominations, no less. And this is going to be presented by John T, our head of visitor operations and experience. That he's the only man in the world with a business card that folds out. It's like one of those things. <laughs> Here it is. This is my business card. That that is a real do you know on LinkedIn do you have a trouble putting it all in? Um so this is guy. <laughs> Uh, John T here is going to present our dad's prize draw, and this is a hamper full of beauty goodies. Ooh. Um, and the winner of the dad prize draw out of 116 of you is Daniel Adams. Daniel, are you around? If you are, please. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Daniel Adams. Well done to you, sir. Congratulations. You're going home with a prize, 50 quid's worth of goodies from Bewley. Well done to you. Congratulations. So you were chosen out of 116 people entered and you're our lucky winner. Well done to you. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're very welcome indeed. I'm going to move out of the way so you can get a couple of snaps there. And that leaves just one prize to give, which is Essentially, your vote, ladies and gentlemen. You've all been out voting for about four and a half hours. We've counted them all up. And this is the People's Best in Show. And this is also presented by John, Head of Visitor at Operations and Experience. And this is going to the 1955 Buick Century sat right here. Who is this yours? Come on over, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for the People's Best in Show. Congratulations to you. I have to say, I saw this come in this morning. Before before you get this, because that's really exciting. But this this is even more exciting. How long have you had this? We've only had her a couple of years. Only a couple of years, but it looks glorious. Did you buy it like this, or have you had to do it all yourself? She came from the United States. Um, it was painted about twenty years ago, and yes, we imported her, bought her here, and. This is her first time out. Fantastic. First time out and she's going home with a prize. Ladies and gentlemen, you have fantastic choice. Please put your hands together for the people's best in show, our Buick Century.